Hi. What I'd like to show you today is an idea that's been kicking around the Plone community for quite a long time. Uh, what you're looking at here is a blog by Alexander Limmy in 2008 talking about how the simplification of the Plone's editing um, could happen. Um, a lot of these ideas have not materialized so far, so I wanted to go through uh, a, some work that was done at a recent sprint to show how we could implement some of these now and how it's actually working. So before I do that, um, what I want to do is show you uh, the kind of problems that these new enhancements are trying to overcome. Um, something that people new to Plone have to get their heads around is the idea that Plone is very folder centric. Um, so in order to add pages, you need to add them inside folders. Um, if you need to add, for instance, uh, navigation aspects, normally you're adding uh, folders to get that navigation to happen, which is the first concept you need to understand. The next thing you understand uh, need to understand is, well, if I've got a page, for example, page one here, and I next I want to go, well, I want to add a page inside this page, how do you do that? Uh, it's not exactly obvious. There's no add new here, I can't add it uh, in the same way I added the page inside the folder. You need to understand that, well, I need to then add a folder within the folder and then put the page inside that folder. Let me show you. Uh, if I then create a folder, say, also called page one, confusingly, uh, now what I want to do is I want to, I'm going to grab this page here, cut it, put it into our folder. Now, go back to view. I need to know about this idea of default pages. So a default page means I can kind of pick an item out of that folder and merge it in. So now it appears as if the page is inside the folder. Uh, now what I can do is I, at this point, I now have the add new menu here, like I expected it to be before and I can go and add a page. So I can add page two. And voila, I've got page one inside page two. If I want to go and add page three, I've got to do all that whole uh, rigmarole all over again. So you can see how it can be confusing for new users. So how does it work uh, in the new world of uh, folders, tiles, and short codes. So, first off, you'll notice that we have a slightly simplified add new menu. We don't have any folders, and in fact, there aren't any collections either. What we do have is a page. Now, pages are folderish, which means that they contain things. So, if I add my, uh, let's make it the same as the other example, if I add my folder one, it appears at the top, I have a folder, uh, nothing is um, that different. Now I can add my page one, and what's different here is that now I can just add page two, just like I expected to do. page one inside page two. Intuitive makes a lot of sense. However, what we have done is we've, we've changed some things. The default page functionality actually gave us the ability to have quite dynamic sort of uh, content or um, put in, in place in pages. So for example, uh, this folder view here. How do we get a listing of what's in the folder? You'll notice that folder one does no longer displays what's in, inside folder one. If I do that on the old plone site, you can see I've got page one listed, automatic listing of what's in the folder. So how do we do that here? Well, if we edit this page, what we've got is a new button here, which is the tiles button. 
and that inserts a tile into the page. So we want a content listing tile, and by default it's already set up to show the contents of the current folder. So we're going to make this the same as the other one. We're going to make it, sorry, listing view was the same as the other one. And, right, so what we've done is we've inserted a special code. Um, now this code is borrowed uh, from WordPress. They have this concept of short codes. Now short codes have a beginning and end, a little like HTML. Um, some parameters in here. And this particular short code, what we've done is we've merged the idea of tile so that the tile name is here, parameters are here. Uh, we also have this extra special parameter in the middle. And in this case, we're really not using that parameter uh, for anything other than just to preview what it might look like if we actually rendered that view. So um, if we then save this, when it's saved, uh, that will get picked up and um, automatically rendered so the dynamic content will be will be rendered if I then go and add a new item into this folder uh, let's call it sibling2 back to folder 1 you can see that it's automatically updating there's no um, just like a normal folder view would. Um, but um, So if we, we go into page one, um, but we could, we could expand this further and, and make it like a collection. Um, so instead of having to create a collection and create a default view, etc., all we do is we insert a tile. Uh, now let's say we wanted this now we don't want it to display the current content anymore. What we want it to do is to, um, we want to do it by type and we want it for all uh, images. And we're going to use summary view. Okay, so you can see that it's uh, gone and picked out the summary view. Um, and if we save that, it's um, as if it's a collection. Um, so you can imagine that this functionality could go much, much further. We can have um, handle rich media like videos in the same way. There's a huge amount of um, possibilities with what could go into those tiles. Uh, the other aspect is we haven't really changed the editing experience that much. So it's it's quite a conservative change compared to some of the other proposals, like for instance, uh, Deco, where the page is broken up into all tiles and you no longer have this, this one editing um, experience. Um, you know, for instance, if we wanted to add a title to the beginning of this, um, to say, um, here is the images in my site. That's pretty straightforward and intuitive. Um, if we wanted to, for instance, uh, format this whole thing here as uh, like a full quote, for instance. We, well, uh, it wasn't formatted correctly, but you can see that um, it would potentially work in practice. Um, so that's it. I'd like to thank all the people who worked at uh, the Fish and Chip um, Sprint in London a few weeks ago um, to make this possible. Uh, thanks for listening.